It's a great question. And that goes back to the, my that SecOps definition right here. It is integrating security throughout the life cycle. It is not the death. It is not just an ops. It is requiring the both dev and ops people together. Let's open up a little bit more into the engineering principles again, so we can discuss a little bit further down. If I am delivering a capability here, which is my end product, right? What type of security requirements or the or the operation requirements, typically ops people, they already know their security postures. That security posture maybe depend on some operating systems, maybe depends on their uh, components. So if I know my attack vectors here as the SEC person, security person, maybe they have a SEC op teams, secret operations team, they already know their organizational security requirements, security postures. So that information has to be planned at the requirement phases. And it has to be implemented in architecture as the design phases. And it has to be addressed in development phases and also the testing phases. If we get only the development phase here for a security, it is too late because sometimes we are really deriving our development activities based on the, some security testing result, like what the static analysis says. But the question we always struggle what is enough is enough for the security testing? How much we can do prioritize our security findings? What is the impact for us? What is the value for us? When I say the value and impact goes back to the, our business mission, right? There is a delivery perspective. And another problem, again, going back to the DevSecOps pieces, if I don't know as the dev, as the team member right here, let's say I'm a sec person, so I'm some kind of responsible for testing and delivering and deployments as a security person, if I don't plan security in my requirements, in my, as a developer, in my uh, kind of my sprint plannings or my scrum or my cases, and I cannot add those findings to address it in my daily workload. I'm going to share the one statistic here, Shane. And based on the DevSecOps survey we have done almost last six, seven years, 90% of developers, they strongly believe security is important, but they are saying they don't have enough time to address security. Why? Because we never think about security as early in the life cycle as in the planning. So in that regards, security should be across the life cycle, starting from end to end, from always from feature request and to delivery. 